I'm Randall Clark. I'm a sheet metal fabricator here at Fat Fabs. So this is Keith's 2016 F250. Came in for a full chassis and a lot of sheet metal work. I'm Jake McKitty, owner here at Fat Fabs in Choctaw, Oklahoma. Standing next to me is Randall Clark, who is our a sheet metal guru here in the shop. Uh, just a straight badass as far as sheet metal goes. Hey, thanks. Hey, <laughs> Perfect, perfect. This is Keith's 2016 F250. He brought it to us for a full chassis and as Randall said, a buttload of sheet metal work. Um, it came in as a stock truck, completely stock truck. He supplied some 26 inch wheels. I think they're 26 by 14s in the rear, 16, something like that. So pretty big wheels in the rear. They look like an off-road tire, but that's the only uh, tire you get that was load rated um, to be able to pull trailers. Um, this truck does include a gooseneck hitch in the back of it, as well as a hidden hitch behind the roll pan that Randall installed from Grant Customs. Is that a Grant Custom roll pan? It was. Yeah, so looks pretty great. Fit flawless like all of Grant Customs stuff does. Brandon, you basically just took a stock bed and cut the whole floor out and built everything from scratch, right? Gutted it. Gutted it completely. So, uh, you know, new cross members, new floor, new bulkhead, new sides. Um, I think we shaved the bed rail caps on it. Yep. I don't think, I know it's right behind me, but <laughs> uh, we shaved the field door. Field door. And, and uh, everything. Everything, just everything's, I mean, the amount of hours in this in this truck so far is, is pretty insane. The, the sheet metal in the front, uh, full front tub that weld into the, the core support, as well as an outside inner tub uh, to where if the tire ever rubs, we're not gonna tear up a tire. Um, or a fender for that matter. Or a fender for that matter. Yeah, you're tearing up paint as yeah. well. So um, full dry shaft tunnel, transmission tunnel. You, you gotta keep that power stroke underneath that hood somehow. So a little bit of section in the oil pan to keep that underneath the hood. The Grant Customs roll pan came uh, with the dimple dies in it. Um, Keith had told us that he wants some mesh, some sort of mesh in the background um, of the dimple dies. So Sean ordered some uh, some mesh. So Randall uh, was able to attach it to the back with some uh, welded. Is it a welded bolt with yeah. a nut? 1024. 1024. So we were able to get that on the back side. So Randall's like, well, we might add dimple dies to the inside of the tub. So we did that as well and, and, and uh, put those on the inside of the tubs. Our signature tubs that wrap all the way around the wheel, inner cap, outer cap, same thing in the front. We go all the way down to the back of the front bumper, all the way from the firewall to the ground. You're not gonna find a truck that comes out of here that it isn't that. Am I right? Yeah. That's pretty, it's the right way to do it in our in our opinion, so. What do you have left to do? You gotta button up the tunnels and... We got hood struts too. We gotta put the hood struts on. We got hood struts. We can't do that until we do the brakes though. Yeah, we gotta get the Hydro Boost. Uh, the customer supplied a Hydro Boost with a new master cylinder that we have to make squeeze into that firewall around that 26 prior to uh, making sure that we're not gonna put a hood strut in the wrong place and have to cut it back out. Other than that, tidying up the bottom of the transmission tunnel, dry shaft tunnel, and blow it apart, send it to powder coat and paint. Fuck Seth Rogen. Yeah, I'm so surprised. <laughs> <laughs>